Oh, hey. Yeah, so after, I don't know, like a week, almost two weeks of, of like rain, snow, uh, I've uh, finally approached the point of cabin fever. So I'm going to jump on the mountain bike and head out for a spin around the park. Um, normally it ends in frustration, but uh, I think I'm going to stay around the out, the outer ring of the park and uh, maybe head into downtown or something on the bike lane. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes, but uh, yeah, let's get out there. Yeah, if there's one thing to know about uh, Bucharest, it's that there is a ton of traffic here and it's a little sketchy to ride a bike, but um, so far no close calls. Uh, I guess maybe they just feel like they can come closer to you without actually running you over, but I appreciate that no one has killed me yet or horribly disfigured me. Cool.
One of the cool things about Bucharest though is the uh, downtown, the old town area is just full of little bars and restaurants and cool coffee shops and art stores and like whatever you want is down here. So I think eventually I will move down here. Uh, I live kind of on the outskirts right now so I think moving down here would be much more fun. There's definitely some cool architecture here. Not sure what that thing is with the nest on the top, but it's a popular site here in Bucharest. Lots of museums. And of course, no city loop would be complete uh, without a little dip through the park. It's usually packed in here, so I try not to ride too much, but if you're taking it easy, it's not bad. By the way, these bike trails or bike lanes, uh, most people I found don't know what they're for. The rest of the path will be empty and people will be walking down the middle of the path. Well, that concludes our Bucharest bike tour for today and uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, um, like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, you know, all, all that work, but uh, it would be much appreciated. And so, uh, yeah, on that note, catch you in the next one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>